Hi, this video is going to be about how to set up uh, RSpot and Eclipse to make your own scripts and whatnot. So you're going to need to download four things. The first thing you're going to need to download is the Java JDK, which you can get at this website. All the download links will be in the description. Just go ahead and click on download and then go ahead and click on accept and then download whatever version that you need. I need Windows 64 bit, so I'm going to download this one. The next thing you need to download is the Eclipse IDE for Java developers, this one right here. If you have a different operating system other than Windows, uh, click on this uh, drop down box and choose yours, and then pick your uh, operating system if you're 32 bit or 64 bit. I'm 64 bit, so I'm going to download the 64 bit version. And it should start downloading. Alright, it has started downloading. And then the third thing you need to download is the RSpot jar file. Uh, this is going to be done on version 7. So if it's the newer version out, you might need to, the process might be a little bit different. I'll have another video up if the process is different in the future. But right now, this is version 7. So go ahead and download the universal jar. Okay, and then the last thing you're going to need to download. Uh, again, the Sphinx is going to be in the description. Is the output view by Jetix, and it's going to say this may harm your computer. Just go ahead and say keep. Uh, you're just going to have to trust my word that it's not going to. Uh, the reason why is because this is jar files, and jar files can harm your computer, but these two won't. These are safe, I promise. And go ahead and click click on keep for both of them. All right, I'll get to you when these finish downloading. Alright, so now that everything's finished downloading, the first thing you want to do is install the Java Development Kit, which is this one right here. The installation process for that one is pretty straightforward. Just hit Accept and Next, so if everything is default. You can check to see if you installed it properly. If you go to Start, File Explorer, right-click on this PC, Properties, Advanced System Settings, Environment Variables, and then under System Variables, there should be a a variable called path, click edit, and if you go to the very beginning, you should see a path that says C program files Java, Java uh, development kit or JDK for short, right here in this path. Uh, if it's not there, go ahead and restall it again. If it's still not there, uh, copy paste this into this uh, text box here. I'll have it in the description if you need to do that, but hopefully you won't. Alright, so the next thing you're going to need to do is uh, unzip this Eclipse folder. So go ahead and extract here. Okay, once that is finished extracting, create a new folder. You can name this folder whatever, and you can create it wherever you want. I'm going to call it PowerBot. Well, close enough. And go ahead and drag in the Jadix Appet Viewer and our spot Jawfire into this new file that we just created. Now open up the Eclipse folder that you extracted and double click on the Eclipse application. It should get a splash screen that looks like this. Now go ahead and browse to wherever you created that folder. So for me I created it in Downloads and PowerBot. This is where the workspace is going to be and click OK. Alright. So you can uncheck this checkbox check down here so that this doesn't show up the welcome screen and go ahead and click on the workbench. Alright, so in the package explorer, go ahead and right click, go to new Java project. You can name this whatever, I'm going to call it PowerBot and click finish. Now right click on this uh, project that we just created, go to properties and go to Java build path and then go to libraries and then click add external jars. We're going to want to add the RSpot jar and the Jetix Apert Viewer jar. Uh, if it doesn't automatically go to these two jar files, just go ahead and find them on your computer and click add them. So now you should see them in this window right here and click OK. Now when you open the project folder and you should see something that says uh, reference libraries and when you open that, you should see the two uh, jar files. Now when you right click on source, go to new, package. Now the way we name this package is your username, no capital letters, and then dot, the name of your mod. I'm going to call this mod video mod. Again, no capital letters and click finish. 
right click on that package, go to new, crass, and this is the name of the mod, so video mod for me. Now, and this does have a capital letter at the beginning, because this is convention for Java. And the first thing we're going to do is add these imports. Uh, if we don't add, if we don't manually add them in, a bunch of errors could come up and it gets messy and whatnot. So we're just going to manually add them in. I'll have this in the description, so you can just copy paste them in. So import or dot parabot uh, dot script. The second import is pretty much the same thing, but a little different. So import or dot parabot dot script. Now, if you're making the script uh, for the old RS, you want to choose RT4. If you're making a script for the new RS, you want to choose RT6. I'm going to make a script for the new one, so I'm choosing RT6. And then I'm going to add on uh, Cynic Contacts. All right. So the next thing you want to do is extend a uh, polling script. With a, and it takes in a generic, and the uh, generic that we're going to fill it in with is the con, uh, cynic context. And now we need to add the unimplemented methods, so go ahead and hover your mouse over the name of your class and click add methods. Now it doesn't add the start method for us, and we're going to have to do that ourselves, so go ahead and type in override, and then public void uh, start. And then here we're going to type in log dot info, and then this is just going to print out something when we start up our mod. So I'm going to say hello, and then in the poll method, we're going to type in ctx dot controller dot suspend. So the last thing that we're going to need to add is the script manifest and this is just some basic information about your mod so go ahead and type in script and then the period and then manifest and then hover over it and click add missing attributes so the description is a description for your uh, mod so I'm going to type in a mod for a video and then the name so video mod for me And that should be, that's all that's required. You can add many more uh, things to the script manifest, but this is the bare minimum. And go ahead and click uh, run on configurations. This is the last little bit that we have to do. Uh, click Java application and go ahead and click a new. And I'm going to name this PowerBot. You can name it whatever. And then for the main class, we're going to click search. I'm going to do the JetX applet viewer. Click OK. Then under Arguments, we're going to, in quotes, type in RuneScape without a capital letter. And then under the VM Arguments, the Virtual Machine Arguments, we're going to want to type in, uh, let's see, I have it actually down here. So this will also be in the description. Go ahead and copy paste all this in. Now for here, we're going to type it. for the last thing, we're going to type in the path to the RS uh, bot uh, jar file. So that will be Let's see. Yeah, for me, that's going to be in downloads, PowerBot. So I'm going to go ahead and copy paste all that into here. And then add RSBot. Let's see, what is it named? RSBot dash. Put that over there. Or RSBot dash 7033. So this is going to be the version of the jar. Dot jar. So if you're wanting to make a script for the old RuneScape, instead of typing in www.runescape, you want to type in uh, old school right here. If you're making a script for the old RuneScape, otherwise just leave it as www.com. And go ahead and click apply and then click run. And it should start up uh, loading RuneScape just how it normally would. If it asks you to update to Java 8, just go ahead and click cancel.
And now under, go to under scripts and go to pray. You should see your mod right here. And if you click pray, it should print out, oh, 